today we will be doing race mode. As you can tell by the title, uh, we're gonna show you how to install this bad boy. And also, we have a sneak peek. You guys weren't supposed to find now, but it's kind of hard. We did install paddle shifters. Uh, they are easy to install. That will most likely be our next video. We did um, buy the multi-scan and all the stuff that we needed through Jason, through Alpha Isimo. I believe that's how you say it. Shout out to Jason. He definitely helped us through the entire process. It was a little rough in the beginning. You do need a Windows computer, but the one that I have is very, very old. You need an updated Windows computer so you can install all the drivers on there. If you don't have that, most likely they won't install and you'll be in the same boat as us. We're actually gonna link everything in the description. So the kits, um, everything that you need to do will be listed down below. You can purchase everything off of one website. One more shout out to Anthony J. His Instagram, I'll link it somewhere here. It's Low Flyer. He works at an Alpha dealership and actually gave us an amazing deal on some carbon fiber mirrors. We actually installed them. We did record a video, but it's such an easy install. It, I mean, Alpha Easymo I think has its own video. I'll link that one down below. It's one two minute long. Shows you how to install the carbon fiber mirrors. Like I said, it's very easy. It comes down to installing race mode. There are three tips that I'm going to give you guys. Like I said, you need an updated Windows computer. That is a must. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Updated Windows computer. Second tip. You need to be on a level surface. And what I mean by that is not like in your driveway, if it's lifted or slightly slanted, somewhere leveled. So you're gonna have to recalibrate a lot of things and you wanna make sure your car is leveled and you, you don't wanna mess things up. Third tip, we read somewhere on the forums that during the installation, you have to switch between the connectors really fast. I don't know how true that is. We did it anyways. Um, you see us in the video switch back and forth really fast. That's just a tip that we read So we just want to share it with you guys. Let us know what you think about race mode If you have any questions, like I said, drop them down below or hit us up on, on Instagram We'll be more than happy to help you guys out There's one two three connectors under here. I already removed the e-brake um, cause that's a completely separate unit. So that's already out. And so just going to go through and it's kind of hard to do these with one hand because they are pretty firm in there. You can use a flathead if you want to, but, uh, just going to use one hand for the pressure. Alrighty. So now that this is out, I'm literally just going to flip it around and here is the DNA selector. Uh, this should be a T20. selector out race selector in always just making sure it's the right way because you know you never know and i'm gonna go ahead and re put plug all these back in reinstall that i'm not gonna do with one hand and then we'll we'll get started go from there it does take a little bit of finagling to get it in it's not hard but it is annoying um, for whatever reason if you guys do take this off like i just did do not turn your car on for any reason um, with this unplugged because it will throw your car into a weird limp mode um, and then it's hard to restart it i've found that out the hard way so just as an fyi uh, and then you drop this back on how it originally was everything's back with the race mode we're gonna go ahead and just turn it on just to see what we throw Just so odometer still blinking from the Sparco seats install. Just making sure everything works the way it should. Uh, now, I guess the harder part of this is to just scan it to make it actually work. Uh, so it hasn't been a bad install so far, been pretty easy. All right, so we already did the process once, so we already know that it works, uh, but we're just gonna show you guys once more. Um, so obviously you're gonna click Alfa Romeo 2.0 uh, turbo, uh, obviously if you have a 2.0. Then you're gonna go to body, uh, scroll down, go to body, go to can set up and once more just make sure you, you guys do this process on a flat surface because uh, you're gonna have to recalibrate some things you're gonna click connect once we do the proxy alignment that'll also take away the sparko seats uh issue um which is obviously nice um so you're gonna push connect once the car is in accessory mode
Alrighty. Um, it's gonna tell you it's not needed because obviously you've already done it. You're gonna go over to adjustments. You're gonna go down to uh, dynamic control selector. You're gonna go to type. I'm um, gonna execute. We're just gonna do type two because we already did type two. Yes, it's gonna say completed. Yes, <clears throat> then you're gonna scroll up. Proxy alignment, execute. Please read all notes. You're just gonna say yes. And then this is where you kind of have to go fast. So I'm gonna kind of set this as leveled as it can be. And then the gray connector is gonna go first. And so as soon as it says the gray to put the gray connector in, you're obviously gonna take this out, put the gray connector on, and then obviously I mean, you get the gist. But uh, I'm gonna cut it real quick. All it's gonna say is like success, like it does right there, success. And then I'm gonna cut it to where it shows uh, connect gray connector. There you go. Connect adapter blue. Put that off in there. After you do that, just click yes. And then obviously you're gonna wait for the gray. Okay, connect the gray. Yes. Turn, it's gonna turn. Obviously, it's turning on all the audio. Everything back on. The audio is back on. You're gonna get a ton of warnings, um, most oh, likely. Okay. It's cool. I'll, um, also, back to the type one, type two versus type three. Type three may work for you uh, versus type two. Um, type three did not work for us. We had to go to type two. Uh, you know, I watched somebody else's video that obviously like we, like we said that we're gonna link and I'm not sure if his, if it fully disables traction control or if it doesn't to my understanding it does because obviously it has uh, Traction control it shows traction control disabled. Okay. It's automatically gonna disconnect. We have we're running version 4.7 R3 up there um, So once you're done it automatically disconnects and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back up to ABS before you even turn anything on. Uh, Continental ABS Mark One. You're gonna turn the car back on. Again, you may have to go through Type Two through Type Three. You'll go to click the race mode. If it doesn't turn on, clearly it didn't work. Uh, that's how I figured it out. <laughs> um, you're gonna leave the gray connect gray connector in, obviously. And once it says the gray connector's in, you're just gonna say yes. And so this one's a little bit different. It's not as complex. It's actually a little bit easier. You still get the, the, the warnings. Yeah. It's cool though. And so you're gonna put the lateral longitude. Right execute. Let's execute at the bottom. Yes. It's very they're very quick. And then through this one. Execute. Yes, we read all the notes. Complete. Yes. And then this one. Execute. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Then after you're done with that, you're gonna disconnect over here. You're gonna pop this guy out. You're gonna turn this off. Yeah. I restart the car like 10 times. I think you only have to do it once, but <laughs> you turn the car back on fully uh, with foot on the brake. All your lights will turn out, obviously disappear. And then I'm gonna turn it back on just one more time so you guys can see that it's in race mode. And, and then I'll tell you full race mode, manual, and then tire pressure. <laughs> uh, then, Don't judge us. <laughs> and then obviously race Look mode. Look how fancy. shifters if you're poor and don't have them like us right we haven't got sideways i mean it, it we broke traction a little bit when we were driving it last night but nothing like crazy alfa romeo has always been smooth with shifting but i feel like it just yeah i don't know and like you said i don't know if it's just the paddle shifters there's not 
a lot of going on. You're just shifting up here, but... Would you still recommend it if people didn't have, like, uh, need really for disabled traction? It just depends on the person, right? What are you, like for us, we like to beat on this car, we like to slide the car. If you like to do those things, yeah, let's remove traction. But, I mean, if you don't like to do those things or, you know, race, if you're not racing the Alpha, if you're not driving like a crazy person. But it's hard not to do that in this car. You have a perfect 50-50 weight distribution. It feels really good. No, it's, absolutely. That's why you should have bought the car. But there's a lot of people, there's a lot of Alpha owners who don't yeah. like to drive this car rough, which I understand. So race mode not, may not be for everybody, but if you want to beat on your car, if you want to slide it, if you want to do this and that, yes, get race mode. We are still going to test it. I'm sure it works, but. Just for our own peace of mind. Actually, let's just go test it right now. Get out of here. <laughs> we need backup tires once we <laughs> shred these to pieces. Call all state. Uh, can you take us home? <laughs> <laughs> and it looks cool. You got a cool, you know. Yeah. You got the cool race mode. Best race experience with shifter and manual. Best race experience with shifter and manual. Oh. Thank you for watching today's YouTube video. If you found this video useful, hit the subscribe button, the like button, show some love to us, guys. I do want to say thank you to all of our subscribers. You guys really know how to show love. Um, we've been on YouTube for about a year already, going on two, and we're about to hit a quarter of a million views. Now, that... That's wild. Honestly, that's wild. So thank you to everybody. Thank you to all our new subscribers. Thank you to our day ones. You guys really made it happen for us, guys. We're going to continue to push out content. Like I said, let us know what you guys think and we'll see you guys next week. about the drill cool we'll talk about it i got all the <laughs> i got all the time in the world let's talk about what I you think i don't got that i don't have that type of patience <laughs>